Thank you. Um, I just, first of all, I want to say thank you guys for having this hearing. It's great that we can get together. Thank you for all of your presentations. Thank you for helping me with the microphone. Um, <laughs> my, my name is Bill Lamori. Uh, lived in West Hartford for uh, about the last four years. Actually have uh, three young girls. First one is about to enter Duffy next year, so this is all great stuff. I um, actually have two ideas. I don't have any um, uh, ideas on the expense uh, reduction side. Sounds like you guys are working very hard. Sounds like you're much smarter about this stuff than I am. But I do have two different ideas. Um, one, as you talk about having to possibly cut um, expenses, I, I know that's a very real thing. Um, I'm a part of a church, and I know there's a lot of different faith-based organizations, and the town partners every Thanksgiving to do the food pantry thing. I think there's a lot more that can be done. I know churches, synagogues, and a lot of different faith-based organizations, and, and people that aren't a part of faith-based organizations, uh, really rally around things. President Obama has challenged the nation. These are times where we've got to stick together, and we've got to um, serve one another as citizens. I think there's a few good ideas, like maybe uh, different organizations could sponsor monthly to keep filling the food pantries. Maybe uh, in the fall when it comes time, instead of, I know leaves has been a contentious point, are we gonna have to bag, are we gonna suck them up? Well, you know what, maybe, maybe there's a few people from churches, temples, we can go to elderly uh, folks, handicapped folks, and help bag and rake leaves. I think that I know for our church, I know we'd wanna be a part of that. So that's just an idea, and maybe if there was someone that could sort of uh, task and reach out, I think there's a lot of people, I think you'd find a lot of receptivity. On the other side, uh, on the income side, I have a, a suggestion, and when I look at these figures, it's not going to fix the budget. If there was a way to do that, you guys would have done that. But it is an idea that would actually help with some income uh, generation. We uh, started a church three and a half years ago. We've grown to about 200 people in average attendance on a weekend. Started in the basement of the Elmwood Community Center. We've been at different places. We keep out growing. Um, over the past few years, I've come and asked to rent schools every Sunday morning. And I've been told no, and I've been given the policy. The policy is that, uh, hey, we only rent to churches if your church building burns down. And I'm thinking, that's sort of obscure. Could we skip the whole drama of a burning, building burning down? <laughs> and just like, you know, write you a check um, to the tune of twenty to $30,000 a year that we currently pay in rent. Now, that's not going to fix anything, but it beats a sharp stick in the eye. And that's, that's just our church. That's only our church. There's other churches that I know that are also looking. And I think, as you said, uh, as the, as the uh, superintendent said, these are duf difficult times, and we need to figure out how to work together and maybe be a bit more creative in our thinking. My thought is, this is just one church, and so I, I have business cards. I'd love to talk to you guys about that. So, like, it's, we could start paying right away, good credit and all that stuff. And, uh, and I think that, that that's an idea. I mean, we've got these schools that are sitting empty on Sunday mornings, and I, maybe we could start looking at those as some revenue centers. By the way, this is something that's done all over the U.S. This is not uncommon, and uh, maybe it's time to start looking at some of that. So I, I would just ask that you guys that you would please reconsider this policy that, uh, uh, that could... Uh, you know, put some money. I mean, I've looked at different programs that are being cut, and a bunch of them are in that twenty to thirty thousand dollar range. I'm sure there's a teacher that could say, "Yeah, we could use that somewhere." So I, I would ask that you guys reconsider that. And again, I have business cards. I'd love to talk to you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Bill. Uh, God bless you for being here. And uh, excellent suggestions. This is exactly what we're hoping for. Um, you know, as Ron had, had indicated, we, the theme of this, if you walk away with one, one item, it's that there's less money available. And we've got to find creative ways to, to get around that, and that's a great suggestion. We will revisit that. And, uh, and also, um, as you did today, if, if somebody's going to get up and, and suggest that we protect a particular program, we ask that, if you can, at least offer a suggestion as to something you might be willing to do without as you, as you ask us to protect something.